Hi everyone, I hope you all. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into XRP once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So, um, just there, XRP put a little bit of a, a bull trap just there. Okay, and this is why you keep moving your stops up on the ascending level support. Like I said to you, very, very tradable range right there. And you can see we've got this really, you know, coiling up, coiling up. Price compression leads to expansion. Got a little bit of a fake out, and then boom, we put another sort of swift, impulsive move down that's measurable. Okay, so if we take a look at this and look at the fibs from there, that's your high just there and that's your low just there and you can see boom 1272 fib target met at a bare minimal and then you start to come back up uh, just there for xlp so this looks quite nice we're starting to break out here and potentially what i'm anticipating that if if this is not a correction back up to this eye this is going to actually be the third wave and like i've said to you i said this in previous videos that potentially you know this is an impulsive wave one this is corrective wave two and this is a potential wave three that's rearing its head now for this to to sort of to come fruition we have to see you know like i said to you you've got key resistance here and here as well we have to see this really really big impulsive move for xrp here and potentially if we start to see something like this that runs into these levels of resistance this to me would begin to confirm that this is your low right here for xrp okay and this is the thing we need to see so if we take a look at the weekly time frame uh, there is a possible uh, W double bottom pan that's starting to carve out there. And I'm not just seeing on XRP, I'm, I'm beginning to see it on a lot of altcoins as well. So again, you know, you, what you're doing, you're coiling up, you've got this low, you've run into resistance, which is nominal. You know, you run into resistance, what you see, you're coming back in a higher low. So this is a, quite a powerful little move here. And, you know, th this is potentially signifying that this is a, a way free because we are seeing quite an impulsive move come off these lows, okay? And like I said to you, even though Bitcoin come all the way down and lost 786, you've never lost this low, have you? So this potential carving out some kind of reversal pattern and ascending triangle so if you start to come up and break this resistance and you primarily see a, a weekly close here above the 10 ema you could begin to look at some kind of impulsive move here 03595 so if we start to see that close above that level of resistance which is a 10 ema uh, here for uh, xrp it could indicate that you know this could actually be a way free and again you know there's absolute possibility this is an a this is a b and this is a c obviously you know when it's resistance and roll again but this is your primary low right now okay and if this is the case you know and we are breaking bullish and we're sort of slowing down you've got this kind of rounded bottom down here as well and you've got the big gaps in the emas i think accompanied with that as well didn't we uh like i said to you when the rsi is in the floor always buy more down there look at that beautiful level in the floor as well and this met the targets of the abc as well at the 1414 fib which it did in the previous cycle like i've gone through so many times with you if we do start to see this structural bottom it's going to start to look really really good for an impulsive move and potentially that what we've got here is uh, you know a, a, an impulsive wave one a corrective wave two and you're looking at a monster wave three which could start to see the breakout here for xrp into 2023 and 24 you know don't want to get too bullish yet we've got a lot of work to do but right now structurally this is looking quite tasty now down here you know when this started to capitulate down here uh, for xrp and i was telling family and friends you know i was dropping my fibs on and telling them all the resistance levels as well i'll go through this with you and again you know if i was making the videos for you down here you wouldn't believe me but you know it's all about support and resistance like i said to you carving out some kind of beautiful bottom down here you've got this capitulation event of march 2020 came into resistance okay came back to support once you broke out look at that big green candle where did you find support on the neckline okay and you're confirming that support and that's the scenario that i'm looking for for xlp then you've got a huge huge beautiful 1618 impulsive breakout just there for xlp okay so subsets of waves within waves like i said to you uh, just there this was all tradable from that low just there to that high uh, you can see look at that two the two fib got met just there but a really good area to take profit in your trade is a 1618 always okay and then when you came back you found support on that trend line put some bids in down there you know the stop loss and then once you broke that high just there look at that that's your impulsive break where did you find support uh resistance sorry 1618 so this is sort of got my mini sort of 1618 with retracements into a macro 1618 and that was a beautiful target that was met you know and i was telling family and friends all of this waves here off this low so right now i'm telling you that if this is the bottom okay and we're sort of carving out this sort of rounded bottom okay and we're tightening up the gaps in the emas if it is the bottom right now you're looking at this and i've gone through this with you at xrp because i was looking for this retracement to kick in and this is potential the retracement i'm looking for which is no different Different than this retracement here breaking out resistance coming back making a higher low break this resistance 1618 just there which i've shown you so right now if this is the case and we have found the bottom here and this is the c leg the abc uh, z, c zigzag correction uh, for xrp and, and we've come down abc zigzag one one six one eight uh, one four one four uh correction right there and we've done everything we need to to say we bottomed out okay if it is the case then you're looking at 1618 let me show you right now and it could come quite swiftly uh but i would anticipate let me show you right now uh, a retest of this neckline if it does come 
So again, if we do start to see XRP coming up and closing above this trend line here, you know, it would be a precursor to actually breaking the one fib. Let me bring this over to show you right what I'm looking at right now. It would actually be a precursor that if you start to break this trend line here, do you see this? Okay, which is basically a 702 fib, like I've shown you in previous updates. If you do start to see XRP closing above 03787 on the weekly, it would indicate to me that you know you're on your way to the one fib and you are looking at a minimal, minimal impulsive wave target here to 048 cents, where actually it might not stop, like I said to you, because that the previous impulse here off this low this actually met the two fib didn't it so if we do start to get a little bit extended here and this potential third way which is something that i'm looking at as a potential scenario that this is a one this is a two and right now you, you know you, you're breaking out and this is a potential three well the, the third wave is usually the most powerfulest okay and in a trend direction and it would be that sort of level of resistance and the power we need to break back up and get back into these emas as a retest and primarily this trend line and this level of resistance here you know which was support that we've not back tested as a resistance so this is on the cards this has always been on the cards like i said to you if you start to carve this out you could see that as key resistance start to come back hold this neckline of support and then continue basically so that's an absolute possible scenario but obviously for this to sort of play out we do have to see xrp start to come up and break key resistances so primarily if we do start to see xrp closing on the weekly uh, above the 702 fib at 03787 it could indicate that we've got a beautiful impulsive move here for xrp going forward okay uh, and equally what we do want to see it would be nice to see it this week to be honest with you because the quicker we can get the party started and get out would be amazing wouldn't it you know instead of hanging around down here but the, if we start to see xrp closing above this blue line which is a 10 ema like i said to you this is key resistance forcing you down if we do start to see xrp closing above the 10 ema on the weekly time frame uh, at 03594 that actually could be you know indicative of an impulsive move to the upside as well and confirming that you know this is the formation of a new uptrend basically up into key resistance and again you know what we're looking for here for xrp is simply just to get its ass back above the EMAs because you can see here you've not necessarily back tested 236 it's 045 and once you start to come up and down through these fibs you know if you start to break this red trend line as well you know it's a scenario that you could just sort of sit in on the sidelines and wait for to carve out for xrp but once it starts to come back up through these fibs and you take these fib levels out okay and you start to close above the one fib as well your minimal target is 1272 with your 1618 target as well okay but in my in my opinion i think that we might actually go beyond that and like i said to you my long-term target is all the way up there at 27 dollars. i think that that's the cycle that xrp is actually in uh, but in this particular impulsive move on the way free which is something i'm anticipating that this is okay this might potentially be forming this is some kind of wave one okay leading diagonal right now we've got a wave two correction and right now we're looking at a wave three i think the minimal target i think the wave three expectation for me would be the two fib at 13 dollars 55 where at that point you're coming for a large correction uh, potentially back down to the wave one high at around about one dollars or whatever over a long period of time you know wherever it is that multi-year bear and then at that point you know you break out in a final fifth wave which sees you up there to the 27 dollar mark right there you know it's a possible scenario something i'm looking at but obviously for this to start to rear its head we have to carve out a bottom down here and we have to start coming back up and breaking resistances and holding these lows so you understand that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned but all of this is tradable like i said to you you can go long you can go short whatever you want to do you can do it all on buy bit or bit get the link is in each and every single video description so if we do get an impulsive break and if we do start to close above the 10 ema on the weekly time frame at 03594 it could be a really really strong indication that we are starting to carve out a third impulsive wave here for xrp off the lows basically take care everyone hope you enjoyed that little update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned and thank you for your support bye bye